Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training. In today's video, we're going to talk about tips to help endomorphs lose body fat faster. So let's get started. In this body type series of how to eat for your body type, I've been talking a lot about specific things you need to be doing for your body type to help you maximize your results. And when it comes to the endomorph body type, which is the body type that has the slowest metabolism, has the hardest time dropping body fat, has a tendency to store more of their mass, the lower half of the body in the hips, the thighs, and the glutes, However, that is a pear-shaped endomorph. There are some endomorphs who have a tendency to concentrate all of their excess body fat in the torso for an apple shape to their body. And both of these body types have a slower metabolism. They gain weight very easily and they have a very hard time taking it off compared to the other two body types. So in this video, I'm going to give you my tips on specific things you need to be doing to accelerate your fat loss as an endomorph. So the first thing you wanna get straight as an endomorph is your workout timing and your cardio duration. So fasted cardio is going to be very ideal for my endomorph clients. However, the key to cardio with the endomorph is you need to make sure that you are not doing spinning. Now, if you like spinning and that just is what you enjoy and you wanna do it, be my guest. But if you're trying to get smaller and you are trying to accelerate fat loss and you want to lose some of your curves because you just have too much in your own opinion, you want to stay away from the spinning. You want to stay away from the stair mills and you want to run, 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 run. My most successful endomorphs have used running as their primary source of cardio. If you cannot run, jog. And the reason for this is because it is the most slimming and helps your legs and your glutes get smaller if you're doing slow, steady, long distance running. The next thing you wanna know as an endomorph is that when you do your cardio, if you are just doing cardio, like let's say in the afternoon and you're doing weight training together, you always wanna do the weight training in front of the cardio because in order for your cardio to be effective, you need to be in a fat burning mode. Problem is in order for your body to rely on fat as the fuel source, your body initially relies on carbs and it takes your body a solid 20, 25 minutes to burn through glucose before it even starts getting and tapping into fat stores for fuel. So the thing is, it's by design that way, guys. If every time you did something, your body relied on stored fat as the fuel from a survival mechanism, it wouldn't make much practical sense because our body is trying to preserve our fat. Now, that being said, what you want to do is knowing it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes for your body to burn through your carbs first, then into the cardio, that means not, don't take this the wrong way. The first 20 to 25 minutes of cardio don't really count towards fat loss. So that's why you wanna do the weights first to help kind of burn through some of that. Now, if you're just doing a cardio session, remember that that first 20 to 25 minutes isn't gonna count. So anything after that, only that counts towards fat loss. So if you're only doing 20 minutes of cardio as an endomorph, that's just nowhere near enough. I recommend a minimum, minimum of 45 minute cardio sessions for my endomorph clients who want to lean out, who want to drop this stuff, stored body fat. So if that's you, if that's your goal, you wanna be aiming for a minimum of 45 minutes of cardio per session. And you really wanna be doing it at least five times a week, you guys. I know you don't wanna hear that, but if you have a long way to go, it is going to take that day in, day out grind to really make the progress and results that you want. So the next thing I recommend for my endomorphs to accelerate their fat loss is to include intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting controls your meal timing. The benefit of intermittent fasting means that you're going to have periods of time where you're not not eating food, which is your fastest state, and you're gonna have period of time where you're eating food, which is your fed state. Now, the benefit of this is because every time you eat, you have an insulin spike. And most of my endomorphs who, who have a lower tolerance to carbohydrates do have insulin sensitivity. Now, even with the moderate carb tolerance endomorphs, you would still benefit from concentrating your meal timing. And the reason for this is because every time you eat, you have an insulin spike. Every time you have an insulin spike, that insulin hormone is released from your pancreas. The pancreas also has the function of releasing the glucagon hormone, which is responsible for burning 
fat. If your pancreas is so busy releasing insulin, it can't release glucagon. So every time you eat, if it's just spiking, spiking, spiking your insulin, you're gonna have less time throughout the day for glucagon to take over and to support fat loss. So what that means is you're gonna wanna concentrate your meals into a shorter time period, give your body a longer duration to go without eating. I'm not saying eat less, I'm just saying given the same amount of calories, if you concentrate it in a specific window, you will have more fat loss than if you just eat throughout the day. So that being said, I recommend doing a minimum of a 12-12, meaning eating all of your meals in 12 hours, and fasting for 12 hours, it's the easiest place to start. If you want to be a little bit more advanced and accelerated with this, you can do a 16-8, which means you're going to fast for 16 hours, eat all of your food in an eight hour window. Practical example of what that looks like would be starting your meals at noon, fasting in the morning, and then being done by 8 p.m. And then after 8 p.m., you're done eating. Now, another issue that makes it more challenging for my endomorphs to lose weight at a faster rate is they are dealing with hormone imbalances. And this is a really big problem, but there are some things that you can do to navigate that, to break through to the other side so you can get some faster results. So when you have hormone imbalances, your body can't create enough insulin, your body can't create enough thyroid hormone, you're extremely stressed with high cortisol levels. Cortisol levels are high due to stress. One of the best things I recommend is apple cider vinegar supplementation. And now it sounds so basic, oh, like just chill out. No, those of you who live in a state of chronic stress and you are an endomorph, it's a recipe for disaster. You want to take steps to manage that by supplementing with at least one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in the morning. You could actually do up to like two teaspoons before every meal, but a minimum of two tablespoons in the morning, two at night, that's really going to help with that. The other thing is you wanna to get to bed at the same time consistently. You wanna avoid alcohol as an endomorph. You even, I'm sorry to say this guys, don't kill the messenger. You're even gonna to want to avoid caffeine and any stimulants because it's going to make it more challenging for your body to naturally regulate your hormones when you are just flooded with stimulants trying to help you get by on fumes when you really need to naturally rebalance your body. Another thing my endomorphs need to be doing, whether you are on a low carb or a moderate carb protocol, get enough fiber, 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 fiber. For a typical woman, I would probably say 17 to 20 grams of fiber, but for my endomorphs with hormone imbalances, sometimes I'll put them upwards of 40, 50 grams of fiber. So that's substantially more than what you would be getting in my shred plans. Now, again, if you are an endomorph with hormone imbalances, you're gonna wanna jack your fiber way, way up because it's definitely going to help you manage the hormone imbalance and nutrient deficiencies. Because the thing is, when you have a nutrient deficiency that's causing a hormone imbalance and then you just drop your calories, you're dropping your nutrients. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? So as a result of that, you're not gonna be able to balance your hormones which is the prerequisite in order for you to support fat loss. So another thing you guys wanna do for my endomorphs is you want to drink green tea. There is an extract in green tea called EGCG. This is a catch tin and this is a polyphenol ingredient which is excellent and scientifically proven to help boost fat loss. It helps raise your metabolism. Drinking three cups of plain green tea a day can burn up to 90 calories. If you're not sure what to do, you guys, you got questions, you wanna work with me, you want coaching, you want a custom plan, or you're not sure which program to go with as an endomorph, these tips will help you break through and support faster fat loss than if you were just kind of going all over the place. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Thank you.